everyone, uh, here is the first part of the head removal uh, process for the 4AG 20 valve blacktop. I have decided to, div to split the videos uh, into two because it would make for a very long video and as you know I like to put very, very much detail in my videos. Uh, so the first step is to remove the spark plug wires, as you can see. Now we proceed to remove the spark plugs, uh, remove them uh, slowly and uh, if you see that the uh, spark plug is too tight, uh, try to put some, uh, some penetrating oil in there to remove it without having it break inside the head. Now it's time to remove the bolts. That secure the valve covers to the um, engine head. There are three bolts. Now to try to pry out the valve covers. Don't insert your uh, screwdriver too deep, just on the limits, on the small, small borders before the gasket starts to, to be in contact. So don't reach under the gasket, just between metal uh, areas. Unplug the PCV valve and then remove the valve covers. When putting on your, uh, your screwdriver to pop open this, don't go where there is a gasket just on the sl on the outer bit you see it's only like a two millimeter place that you can use to put your to put on your uh, um, screwdriver this way it will not damage the surface that goes over the gasket you see? so now we need a 24 millimeter spanner uh, to hold the camshafts as we remove the two bolts that hold the timing uh, pulleys uh, to do this, uh, there are two sections you have to pay attention to. One is in the middle for the non-VVT uh, cam pulley or the exhaust pulley, the exhaust uh, uh, camshaft, I mean. So we hold the camshaft in this position here. There is an hexagonal section that you can uh, use to hold the camshaft as you remove the bolt. On the... Um, intake uh, side the, the VVT pulley is removed by holding the camshaft in this location over here and then unbolting the bolt on this uh, on the pulley itself Notice as I am holding the engine with my right uh, knee to avoid putting too much strain on the engine support. In both of these situations uh, only the breaker bar moves, that is the, the spanner that holds the hexagonal sections of the camshafts is only there to hold so do not apply a twisting motion to the uh, spanner that is holding the camshaft. Out comes the intake timing pulley. Followed by the exhaust timing pulley.
keep your parts and bolts organized or else you will be having a lot of trouble when you are reassembling the engine. Perfect, that's what happens when you use antifreeze. Look, the engine looks like it's new. Now we remove the gasket. Don't use any tools removing the gasket. Just use your hands not to damage the contact surfaces. Well, you can remove this to make it easier to get the socket in there. Good thing in Toyota. This one is a nut. You see, the bolts will stay there. So if you're careful, they won't fall to the ground. Note that there is an O-ring here that will have to be replaced uh, and we will also have to put some grease, some silicone grease here to remake this gasket. It really, it's really important because uh, a friend of mine has had some problems with, with the dipstick uh, connection and uh, it's because of the lack of this O-ring over here or a, a dry O-ring. So we'll be replacing this. <laughs> 